procurement um, is a word lightly until about 40 years ago, uh, you wouldn't have bumped into it. For me, it evolved around trying to build nuclear submarines in America. And we used to be, Isambard uh, Brunel and, and our forefathers, whenever they were building the Parthenon, they didn't go, where's my procurement manual? Um, I think what, what we've fallen into is the trap that we've recognised that actually it's a skill set. We've maybe put too much reliance on it being discreet from all the other skill sets. And uh, we've tried to make it, um, frame it in things like uh, uh, framework contracts lasting five years. It's really difficult to get something, but like you buy your computer and, oh yeah, it's the latest thing. But actually, towards year two, year three, you're actually, everything's overtaken it. And it's really difficult to get procurement right because as soon as you put a framework around something, for me, any contractual relationship with society or a, another company is about a behavioural relationship and trust. And it's really difficult to, to uh, get that with a procurement framework that may be, it may be trying to say, this is how you should behave, but the, the, the procurement has brought it to, it's almost a science the rest of us don't know about. Um, and actually, you should be following this religiously rather than actually, what's the intent? Um, I know things can't be done in a handshake and there are very sophisticated relationships these days. But at the back of it, you should be able to see a human being and be able to look them in, in the eye and say, we agreed you'd be doing this but you, you're not doing it or you are doing it and I'd like to thank you. Um, and sometimes we, we think that actually procurement um, somehow is bringing something new to us. It isn't, it's the fundamental relationship between two parties. Mm -hmm.